In this video, I'm gonna give you a walkthrough on how to set up your RDWC or Recirculating Deep Water Culture System. This system was purchased from PA Hydroponics and it cost $180 plus tax. I didn't pay for shipping because my cousin picked it up on his way to New York. I chose to have them drill the holes in the system for 30 bucks because the hole saw kit is around 20, plus I probably would have injured myself drilling holes. Shout out to Gary for working with me to make custom holes to be compatible with my tent. I sent them over this graph and we made it work. It pretty much came with everything you need for a full setup. The only things I ended up buying separately were the plant stands and the hose clamps. This is a four bucket system with one reservoir and they're connected with one inch tubing that's circulated with a 75 gallon per hour water pump. The hydroton will be aerated using an air pump and that's included along with the tube and air stone for each bucket. The first thing I did was clean out everything, including the hydroton. There might be residual plastic shavings from when the holes were drilled, and you don't want this to get stuck in your pump. I found the stickers on the net pot to be extremely annoying to pull off, and you definitely want to pull them off before they get wet. After everything was clean, we were ready to set up. Now. The first thing you want to do is file down the bulkheads because they'll have a thin sliver of plastic that protrudes that will most definitely cause a leak. I tried using a razor blade, which failed, and I ended up using a cuticle cutter, which worked perfectly. I submerged the cleaned bulkheads in hot water, making sure no plastic pieces were left. Next. I modified the placement of the rubber washers so that for each bulkhead there is two rubber washers on the inside of the bucket instead of out. This ended up working better because I noticed the angle of the curvature on the inside was slightly greater, making it easier for a gap or leak to form. The only bulkhead that was different was the smaller half inch one used for the water level indicator. This is how I installed the water level indicator. So the water level check comes in these four pieces. All right, so you have the one output over here. You have this little ring thing. That's gonna go right here. So you might as well do that right now. Then you have this L-shaped curve with this small tube, and then you have this long tube. So the first thing you want to do is connect this small tube to one end of the L piece. Just put it in as much as possible. The other end is going to go down there. And you're going to grab your blue pipe Put that on the other end, and push hard, and then the other end through this little ring. I had to raise my whole system up about five inches so that the tubes can easily go through the vent on the side of my tent. I used five inch plant stands for each of the five buckets. After figuring out where each bucket will go, I cut my one inch tubing to the desired lengths and placed the ends in hot water to soften them. Then I connected them to each bulkhead and reinforced the connection with a one inch hose clamp. Now, I tested for leaks by pouring five gallons of water into this system and there were still leaks on three out of 10 of the bulkheads. It was about one drop for every 10 minutes and I ended up putting cups down to catch the water. I don't even know how. The leaks actually stopped. Next, I put the air tubes through each of the buckets and connected it to their air stones. Then I placed the other end onto the air pump. 
Then I install the water pump by connecting it to a tube that goes directly into one of the bulkheads. The very last step is to put your net pots filled with rinsed hydroton on top of the buckets and adjust the water levels so that the bottom of the net pot is an inch above the water level. And that's everything that I did to set this up. If you have any questions, check out our Discord. And for more tips, reviews, and tutorials, check out our website.